morning, dear students. Uh, we are discussing the graphical representations of kinematics equation, and we have already done it. Apart from that, you have to again derive this graphical, uh, this kinematics three equation with the help of calculus method that we'll learn today. Once I tell you about calculation, calculus, you think uh, it is a complete new topic for you, which is being taught in the mathematics. I think you will learn these things very nicely because calculus is a very important part for mathematics and it is equally important for the physics. That thing you can remember. So after the previous topics of graphical representations of kinematics equation, we'll again derive these three equations of kinematics by calculus method. You please write down the derivation of derivation of kinematics equation derivations of kinematics equation by calculus method this is our today's topic derivations of kinematics equation by calculus method you please note it down in the previous class we have derived this equation by graphically and today we will learn it we will derive it by calculus method and what are those equations you remember it that is v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square twice a s equal to p square minus u squared so this three equation again will derive by calculus method today you please write down these things so the first equations that will be v is equal to u plus at that will be derived graphically before that let us take a diagram if I to consider a diagram like that you will understand it better suppose when the time t was 0 the velocity was u meter per second okay and when times become t when times become t the velocity becomes p meter per second and uh, total distance of this is s but one thing is very important which i told you in the previous cases also that all this kinematics equation will be derived for a body that is at constant acceleration that means the body should be at constant acceleration remember so acceleration in this case will also be constant understand that means we'll derive this three equation by calculus method or by graphical method we did in the last class for a body that is in constant acceleration so in order to derive these things from where you will start we know that this is known as velocity time equation and uh, so we know what we know that acceleration a is equal to dv by dt these things we have studied acceleration is dv is equal to dt now if i do one thing if i cross multiply these things so dv is equal to a dt these things you've understood dv is equal to a dt now we'll integrate both sides both side will be integrated this is dv and acceleration is constant constant term is never integrated so this is integrations to dt once i integrate this terms there will be limit upper limit and lower limit so in this case let us start from time when time was zero 
the velocity was u when times become t velocity becomes p so upper limit is p lower limit is u upper limit is t lower limit is zero zero understand so next integrations of dv will give us upper limit is v lower limit is u a is constant integrations of dt will give us like that next the further after breaking this we will find v minus u and a will be as as well this is t minus 0 so finally we have got our required equation v minus u equal to a t or or v is equal to u plus a t this is the proof of this particular equation derivations of first kinematic equation by calculus method you please note it down <coughs> next next is your s is equal to u t plus half a t square so how should you prove it s is equal to u t plus half a t square this is the next equation to be proved in this case we know that this is the position time equation so if i consider we know that velocity v is equal to ds by dt we have noticed we have come to know these things that velocity is equal to displacement upon time in this case if i again cross multiply that ds equal to v dt this implies ds equal to in the place of v we can write u plus a t this is from the first equation you can write since p is equal to u plus a. that's why i have replaced this p by u plus a t next this is your ds if i multiply these terms this will be u dt plus a t dt and if now i'll integrate both sides so if I integrate both sides, integrations of ds equal to u is initial velocity and initial velocity is going to be constant. So this is u, integrations of dt plus acceleration is again constant as I told you. So integrations of t dt will have. Now we have to take the upper limit and lower limit of these things. When time is zero, when time is zero, the this displacement in this case was zero when times becomes t when times becomes t displacement become s is that clear so if i go further distance this will integrations of ds will give us s upper limit is s lower limit is zero this is u integration of dt will give us t upper limit t lower limit zero plus if you consider the next side that is acceleration integration of t dt there is a formula in integrations remember that integrations of t and dt will give you t n plus 1 by n plus 1 this is a formula integrations of t and dt will give you t n plus 1 by n plus 1 by that thing this is t t t square and the power of the 2 will become here this is like that so upper limit is again t lower limit is 0 so finally this is s minus 0 this is u so far t minus 0 plus this is a is as it is in this case this will be like t square by 2 minus this is once this t square by 2 and again minus 0 square by 2 so finally s minus 0 is s u this is ut plus this term is 0 and this term if i write in one time it will become half of a t square now this is the
second Kennedy's equation that has been derived by the help of calculus. This formula you remember it. Next is the final equation that is last equation for us. Last equation is twice a is equal to number three that is twice a is equal to twice of a is equal to twice a is equal to p square minus u square these things we need to prove now how to prove it again we'll take the same situation that we know that velocity v is equal to velocity v is equal to ds by dt velocity v is equal to ds by dt these things we know this implies now if i do one thing that v is equal to ds by dt if i multiply both sides by velocity v it will become nothing it will become simply one so i have multiply these things in order to form one new formula or a special case so in this case if i bring it v is equal to ds by if i replace this dv and dt so this is ds by dv into dv by dt i have replaced the this two term dv has replaced here dt has replaced here so this equal to v is equal to this is ds by dv into dv by dt is your acceleration now if i write that p dv is equal to ads i have cross multiply ads p dv now i will integrate both sides once i integrate p dv a is acceleration, A is constant, so it is ds. And this will be u lower limit and v will be upper limit. 0 will be lower limit and s will be your upper limit in this case. The next part after that you see. Now, once this term will go, again, same formula will be applied. So, I can write this implies integrations of VdV will give us integration of VdV will give us P squared by 2 upper limit is V, lower limit is U A will be constant. So, this is ds. So, the integration of ds will give us uh, integration of ds will give us s s and 0 further this is p square by 2 minus u square by 2 is equal to this is a and s minus 0 what we have p square by 2 minus u square by 2 is equal to s hence p square minus u square is equal to twice a s this is the third equation by calculus. That is how we can prove derived the kinetic distribution by calculus method. If you learn calculus fast, then come to this particular derivations, then it will be very easy for you. If any doubt, I think you should not have any doubt after you want to clear the calculus topics, differences on the integration, etc. Okay, practice art and don't be panic with all these things, it will become very easy once you be expert in calculus when you study mathematics so we have derived the kind of this equation both biographically and by calculus method both two are important for you because one question is final in your examination okay i hope you will get the importance of all these things thank you